Good morning, America. There's old Jim Bob's back here again, uh, back home, uh, doing my commentaries, and uh, I'm going to talk today about commercials on the TV. Um, you know, everybody likes to watch TV, and they got commercials on there. they got to have them on there to pay for the, um, well, I don't know, pay for the programming and stuff like that there. And I was thinking that there seemed to me like a few years back there wasn't as many commercials on the TV as there are now. And so I went on the internet, you know, that's what I do. Went on the internet, started reading and studying about it. And uh, what I found out was this. There's a 30 something percent of, of an hour is commercials now. That's uh, up quite a bit from a few years ago. And uh, that's on the all, overall kind of TV. And the cable TV, uh, which I promote cable TV, I think it's the best TV. Uh, they even got more on theirs. They stick in more commercials. So I didn't know that. I was a fan of them, and, and now I'm beginning to wonder. Um, anyhow, uh, so that's a lot of commercials stuck in there. Uh, most of them is about uh, uh, cars and uh, medicine. That's a, but that's just an opinion of mine. I'm, I could be wrong because uh, to play them Varger uh, ones so many times, I could be confused, you know. And then uh, I had to play a whole lot of them about food. And I had a commentary about that before on obesity in America. Um, there's so many commercials with food on them, it makes you hungry all the time. And you have to run on up there you have to, in between and uh, get you a McDonald's or a Hardee's or one of them other fast food places or pizzas or something like that. So what I do... I'm taking advantage of this. You can take advantage of things that you think are bad and turn them around and make them into good things. And so what I do when the commercials are on and they're real long commercials like this, I just go on in there in the bathroom, sit down on the throne. I don't miss no programming because i got plenty of time to relax in there and uh, read a book or whatever. And by the time I get all finished, I come back out and the programming started back up. I ain't missed a thing. So you see, you got to work with things in the world, and you can find out the best way to get stuff to work. That's what I've been doing. So that's a little advice to you. Uh, you know, don't think everything's all the worst. Just make the best of it. I mean, because like, you know, me, I hate my, my smartphone so much right now, I won't just smash it up against the wall, because that thing is the hardest thing in the world to ever use um, than the regular telephone was. It used to. You get a call on the telephone, you walk across the room to where the telephone was sitting on a little table, you pick it up and you said, hello. Well, now you got to uh, uh, swipe on the smartphone. And I'm getting off subject here. We're going to get back to commercials. I'm sorry. Them, them smartphones has got me real upset. Anyway, uh, back to the commercials. Um, some of them is pretty funny. And... Uh, uh, some of them is not. Uh, you know, everybody knows that, 15% discount. And um, so I study them, I watch them a lot, and uh, again, got no choice. Uh, you can't go to the bathroom but so many times in a day, so you have to sit there and watch some of them commercials. And uh, so I do. And uh, some of them is kind of funny. And I, I appreciate that. They take the time to make them funnier and like that. The ones I hate, the ones that just, uh, the car commercials, there's just, I'm, I'm living in South Carolina, and there's just a, a, a guy, he does the commercials for the Hyundai, that's the kind of car I got, and the Honda, and the uh, camera. All three of them, he's in Greenville, South Carolina, if you want to look him up, and his name's Mark. Esculude or something other like that. Well, then going every time I turn around, at first he's got to do the Camry, and then two seconds later after he's finished the Camry, he come back on the Hyundai. He ain't loyal to nobody. 
all he's doing is he's a front man. He's a he's a he's a um, what you call him a, a barker. That's what he is. He did out there just jabbering away on the cars. Drives me crazy. I tell you what, I I, I like sometimes to throw a brick at the TV, but well, I ain't got enough money to buy me another one. So I I try not to do that. Uh, so that's the thing on the commercials. Uh, that's uh, all I got for right now. So you watch them, but take them to your advantage to see there's things you can do constructively while them commercials is on. So just get on up. And that's another thing. I just thought about this. The obesity in America, I know I'm harping on my own videos, but obesity in America, if everybody would get up and go do something constructive during a commercial, there wouldn't be no obesity in America. Well, there you go. Jim's out.